Well guys, this will probably be one of the most simple things you see me do on the channel, but in my opinion, one of the most functional and effective things, as you saw in the title, we're putting some custom LED headlights in the surf. Sorry, that probably bounced the camera a bit. So, I'll show you guys what I've got, and I'll give you a quick rundown on how to chuck them in the car. I've been told it should be pretty easy. Brett has done the same thing with his 80. Um, so, yeah, this basically applies to any car with like a fixed um, kind of headlight, like a five by seven or whatever. So you can see here, this is what is going in. So I've got two lights, obviously replace those. Um, I've also got a really high quality wiring harness big thanks to Garrett Cramp at Ultraflex. This is who I got all these from. So these are um, all ADR approved and they give a really good light. I'll show you guys later on. Um, Brett's one in his 80, yeah, fucking fantastic. And of course, the destructions. So hopefully you won't need them, but we'll see. So I guess some of you might be asking, why would you bother changing? Why LED? Why this? Um, there's a lot of reasons. Uh, for me personally, I can't stand the unreliability of halogen. They always burn out, they're a pain in the ass. I can't be bothered changing globes. Um, LEDs are the future. Like seriously, they basically consume no power at all. They turn on straight away. Like with HRDs, what are in this at the moment, which I'm gonna throw straight in the bin. Um, you know, they take time to charge up. Um, and they draw a lot of current and they have a lot of heat. Uh, so that's one thing that's really shit. Also, they are a much better light, the LEDs, when they're set up properly. Um, you know, lots and lots of reasons. Some people don't care, some people are gonna say, oh, you know, I'm happy with my halogens. Well, that's great if so, but I'm not, I hate them. So I'm gonna put these in. And you know, I've got LED lights in all my cars, best thing I've ever done. Being able to see where you're going at night time properly is a massive, massive bonus. Well, it's a no-brainer, isn't it, really? First up, you've obviously got to get access to the lights. I haven't taken this off before, but it looks like it's a bit of a pain with the bull bar and the winch and everything in the way. Okay, so first up, you've obviously got to get access to the light. So, this is going to be different for everyone's car, whether it's a different car or whether it's this car, but it has a bull bar, different bull bar, different grill, whatever. But basically what I've done is I've loosened off the grill. I've taken the screws out of each of the corner lights. I've popped the corner lights off the um, main light shroud, as you can see there, which also looks like I've got a lot of wiring to fix up because of the previous numpties who have owned this car and done God knows what with the wiring. So basically, you can see on this side where I've made a start on it, um, there's three screws that hold this headlights around onto the, the central grill, basically. So. If you take this stuff out of here, you can gain access to those screws through these holes. Um, to get to some of them, you might have to kind of lift it up and tilt it forward, etc. Uh, there's a screw. But yeah, that one's off. I'm gonna have to take the battery out on that one and move the um, washer bottle as well. And then we can finally delete all this superfluous shit. But it's just making me sick looking at it. So when I bought the car, the guy said, if the headlights don't work, just jiggle this globe in here and they'll come on. I'm like, what the fuck is that, seriously? Um, you know, we've got HIDs, this ground wasn't actually running anywhere, I don't know what the fuck that does. Right guys, so I've just done one as a bit of a practice run. Um, looks really fucking good, check this out. Oh. So now that one's done, I'll give you guys a rundown on how to do this one, um, how I did it anyway, and then we'll move on to the wiring side of things. So for me, I'm just gonna pretty much temporarily, well not temporarily, it'll kind of be wired, but not final product. So yeah, let's get to it. Right, so to my, I guess, non-surprise, there's a whole lot more fucking bird's nest of wiring in here, which is to do with the HID, so I will have to Fuck that off in a minute, but for the sake of just the install, I'll uh, show you guys how to do so. Just take out the glow, anything associated with it. There's another bit of wire that seems to be somewhere that's 
just floating. Um, so basically we need to undo this shroud. There's a hole through there that you can put your screwdriver in and get to that screw. And there's another hole down lower that you can get to the bottom screw. Looks like on this one the middle screw might be a bit of a prick. Okay, I finally got that fucking annoying thing off, so this will basically just move out of the way like that. And now you've got two screws on the bottom, two screws on the top. So you can get away with just doing the tops and basically folding it down. Um, I actually had to do that on the other one because the bottom one was missing and the other one was rusted. So um, yeah, basically the light just sandwiches in this little plate here. So we'll do that and we'll chuck the new one in. All right, so while I'm taking this beautiful light out of the box, you can see here's the um, ADR info on these lights that uh, Garrett supplies. So I think they get stuff on and then here's his card. It's actually pretty funny fella. So big shout out to Ultraflex. These lights are freaking awesome. Um, so yeah, let's grab this bad boy and pull that big tail through there. Which we drops in like so. You can see there as well, hopefully. Yeah. Ultraflex riding on the back. On the top, I should say, ADR 46 and 76. So, they're legit. Anyway, we'll just button these back up and uh, get onto the wiring. So, as simple as that, they are now mounted in. Um, this one's all ready to go, shroud's back on. So, I'm just going to chuck this shroud back on, get them all set up. And for those of you who don't know, these are your adjuster nuts for the headlight aiming. So, you got obviously up and down and then the bottom one down there is left and right. So I'll stitch this up and then we'll get onto this fucking absolute abortion of wiring. Most of you guys hopefully won't have this problem because you'll have bought it off someone who had half an idea. But. All right guys, so it's now time to tackle the wiring. A lot of this you're not gonna have um, to deal with. All right, so most of the shit is stripped out as you can see in there. So anyway, let's look at this beautiful harness that Garrett has supplied me. So as you can see, this is what a harness should be like, especially for headlights. Um, really good gauge cables, nice connectors. Um, so I'll basically run through it. So we've got the ability to run um, four lights. So this is compatible. I know Brett used this one for his 80 because he's got basically two individual lights for each side. Um, so I can actually run some LED spotties off this, which I might end up doing um, soon enough because I don't like halogen as you know so Garrett can hook us up with some of them as well um, but basically we'll start here so this plugs into one of your existing headlight h4 sockets um, this obviously goes straight to the battery that's your positive these ones are grounds um, so obviously to a chassis a good clean chassis ground got some fuses here and we've got the main relays with a resistor for the low beam, I think it was. So the reason you need the harness um, is because basically the factory loom is a negative switching loom, I'm pretty sure. Whereas the LEDs are positively switched. So you'll have all kinds of issues if you try and make these work on your factory loom. Um, so that is why you need to get this loom right here. Um, so Garrett's made it all really easy. It's all pretty much done, just drop it in, put things where you want, and then we'll hook it up. All right guys, I'm pretty much ready to chuck the battery back in and test this stuff out. So you can see there, it's all neatly tucked in behind here. The way I run it, it was a little bit too short. I would have liked the loom to be longer, or at least the pigtail longer on the light. But that's no biggie, if it's a problem, I'll just cut it and extend it. Um, so they're all in there, I've got a couple of grounds on here. Um, I'll fix them up later. Once I tidy up all the wiring, I'll make this really Mickey Mouse because it's quite a mess right now, but it will do the job. Um, so over this side, this is where all the action's at. So I'm pulling my, obviously my positive feed from the battery terminal. Don't know where I'm gonna mount these yet. Um, got my relays mounted up here, just zip tied in for now, because as I said, I will be moving stuff around later when I tidy this stuff up properly, but 
I've cut a bit of stuff out. For some reason, there's like an old battery cable. I don't know what the fuck that's doing, but I'll figure that out later. Um, so, this is the original headlight uh, trigger or H4 harness. So, I've plugged the male version of my new harness into that. I'll also, just tape this up because it was pretty how you going. Uh, so, that will just tuck somewhere neatly down there. And then you've got your two female H4 plugs there and there. So my LED light plugs into that. And speaking of LED lights, this one just died. Bring up the back up. And so they're plugged in there and both those grounds are just run up to here. Uh, another grounding point. So yeah, it's pretty much, it's really easy to do. All you gotta do is hook up a positive grounds, plug in your lights and She's good to go. So I'm just gonna drop the battery back in, um, bolt these lights back in, I don't. I still think there's some dodgy stuff going on with these, but I'll tidy them up later as long as they work. Um, yeah, it's looking really tough. All right guys, they're done and they work. So that's an added bonus. Um, so yeah, big props to Garrett for this loom, the lights, everything's bolted in. Really easy, really basic mod. Um, but they look fucking sexy. Let's, let's have a look. I like it. I like it a lot. So all I gotta do now is just make these ones look better. I might actually get some nightshade or something. And I'll probably set these up to use as parkers. Like the DRL setup, which I think is just that angel eye one. But now I've got functioning headlights, so I'll uh, Set the camera up on the tripod and I'll show you guys. So anyway guys, I um, hope you like this video. Please go and support Ultraflex 4-wheel drive. This guy does a really, really good job in custom making all these crazy products. So he's got all the lights. Um, he's actually working on some, like his own tires. Uh, I won't give too much away. Um, he's got winch ropes, heaps of stuff. So head on over to Ultraflex 4x4, that's Ultraflex 4x4, um, and check out his stuff and support a local Australian business selling some really good products. So, yeah. I'll finish this off by, I'll get some night shots of these uh, in the dark. And as always, be sure to subscribe and like this video, comment, tell me what you think. If you haven't already, check out the build series on this car behind me. Um, nothing really too crazy yet, but we've got some really good power mods coming up. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that. And thanks for watching. Right, guys, so I'm finally driving the car at night time and I can actually test these lights out. Um, hopefully this actually comes out okay. But as you can see, that's on normal beam. And then we've flicked a high beam. That's really, really nice. These are so nice to drive with on the road, seriously.